Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Davis Way TV. My name is Shanika. Some call me Shay, some call me Nika. So before I let you guys know where I have been, I would like to thank my old subscribers for sticking around with me. And I would like to thank the new subscribers. So before we get into this video, stay tuned. The reason why I have been gone, I had a procedure to get my lipoma removed from my forehead. So today we are going to do a makeup tutorial, makeup video. And I'm gonna show you guys how I cover that up. I am not a professional, nowhere near it, but I am going to do my best and we're gonna jump right into this video. Let's go. So my face is already previously washed, moisturized. I'm gonna go in with this BB cream concealer and moisturizer. And while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna kind of go over what a lipoma is. So a lipoma is a fatty tissue that forms underneath the skin. And what it does is it turns into a little hard lump and it creates a lump that raises under the skin. But what it is, is just um, oils that sits underneath the skin and it creates a little bubble and it's hard and sometimes you can kind of move it around depend on the size of it. Mine was kind of small, so it wasn't too crazy. So you guys, most of the time you guys probably didn't even notice it, but my family and I have noticed it. Me personally, I have noticed it back in 2013, 14, and I never thought anything of it. I knew it was there. Um, it did not hurt, um, but I did notice it there. I thought maybe I hit my head and didn't remember or something like that, but that wasn't the case. But when my mom and my husband and co-workers started to notice it, I would say maybe about a year ago, I was like, hmm, maybe it's growing, maybe it's not, but obviously it is because people are noticing it. So I was like, okay, you know, no biggie, it doesn't hurt, so everything is good. I don't, there's nothing that I really need to do to it, but as, um, my mom and coworkers started to bring it back up multiple times. Um, I was like, okay, maybe it is growing. Maybe people can see it. So uh, me and my husband was talking, he was like, maybe, you know, you can have it removed. So I was like, maybe I could. So I went to my physical and um, I talked with my doctor and I was like, look, I have this lump here and people are noticing it. It doesn't hurt, but you know, people are noticing it. And by me doing YouTube, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know if you guys were able to see it or not, or if you were. Um, so I was like, uh, yeah, let's see if we can take care of that. So she was like, well, unfortunately, well, fortunately you can have it removed. I was like, okay. So she took some pictures with her phone and, um, she sent it over to a specialist. And from there, she sent a referral in to have it looked at. So after my physical, um, they gave me a call maybe like a couple of weeks later and I went in for a consultation and the consultation, he just kind of looked at it and he was like, you know, it's called a lipoma. So what a lipoma is, is just a um, jelly-like piece that sits underneath the skin 
and how it forms is um, like when your face is greasy or you feel that you know you have a lot of oil some people feel that they have oily skin it just sits between the skin and the bone on the face and actually they're very common so they're more common than usual but they're called lipomas they're just a fatty piece of oil that sits underneath the skin so when i was there he just kind of filled around on it and he was like you know it does move so that's good so we can um go ahead and remove it in clinic so um he was saying that it wasn't connected to the bone because usually when it's connected to the bone you have to go in and uh, go under anesthesia and they would just kind of like shave it off in the operation room so mine was just it was movable so i was able to just have it um removed in clinic so that was a, another good thing so um if you guys see me looking down obviously i'm just looking in my mirror and um so i he, he set me up an appointment um i think it probably took maybe an extra mm, three or four weeks and i went into um the specialist where i go see um my MS doctorate and I did a um in a clinic procedure and what they did they just let me know that it was a you know big procedure that they were doing in clinic and with a procedure like that they kind of have you sign a uh consent form to um see if you really want to do it in a clinic. Cause some people, once they get there, they kind of get nervous and they don't want to do it in clinic or, you know, they don't want to be woke while they do the procedure. So some people, they opt out of it and they go, um, they reschedule to have it done in the operating room. So um, when I got there, he kind of went over everything with me how it was gonna work, how it was gonna do it. And me, you know, I have a um, high level pain tolerance. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and knock it out. Let's get it done. And um, he just kind of numbed it up with four little areas of, you know, lidocaine or whatever they use to numb the skin. And um, he numbed it up and obviously he had his, um, the scrub nurse is there in her suit. And as he was doing the procedure, he went over everything with me. He let me know how it would look. And you can't really see, but here on the side, I have a old scar from when I was younger. So there is an extra one there. He was gonna do it this way, but he was like, well, since you have a, already have a skull there, you know, that healed up pretty good and we can kind of just go off of that one as well. And um, he went that way, so he did numb it really good. I didn't feel anything. I did feel, all I did feel was like a little tugging and pulling and, um, you know, in that sense, um, using this palette here. But, like I said, I didn't feel any pain. And, you know, I was going to let him know if I did feel any pain, but I didn't. But um, the procedure didn't take too long. Maybe, I want to say maybe 40 minutes. But like I said, I do have pictures to show, and I'll put that in the end of the video to let you guys see. I'm pretty sure because you guys probably do want to see. But... That is the reason why I have been gone. Um, I didn't really want to get on here with like, you know, wound that was still healing up or something that was just like, you know, looking all gross and crazy. But um, I did take pictures in between the healing process and I'll put those up as well. <laughs> so, um, but I'm back today. And we are doing this makeup video to show you guys how I cover 
this little guy here. So this is actually getting smaller. It was bigger than this. So it is looking lots better. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with this palette here. But yeah, so that is the reason why I have been going. So not that I just didn't wanna do videos or I was just gonna leave you guys hanging. Um, I did do a braid video before I did my um, my lipoma procedure. So if you guys haven't watched that, go ahead and watch, um, go back and watch that after this video. And before you guys leave today, like if you guys like this video, you know, go ahead and give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, you know, tell your friends and family. And like I said, this is a common procedure. This is not just like something that's just new or, you know, anything like that. Oh yeah. So after, um, get it off topic, but after, um, they removed it. They put it like in a little specimen jar with fluid or whatever. And um, I was able to take a picture of it like before they sent it off or whatnot. And um, it kind of almost looked like a cherry seed. So I was like, okay. And what they do with that, um, since it was like a growth or, you know, something that was under the skin and um, and usually, usually anything like that, they send it off to the lab to get it tested. And, um, so I waited like, they usually say two weeks, but it only took a week. So, um, it took a week for me to get the results back and, um, it was benign. So it wasn't cancerous or anything. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so um, that's where I have been. And besides that, you know, just been, I was actually, another reason why I kind of took a little longer as well, because I was trying to figure out um, how, was, how I was gonna do this video. And I was trying to figure out what could I use to cover that area like I was using my my elf um foundation and when we would go out like it would cover it like a little bit but you were still able to see it a little bit more so I was like well how could I like really really cover it so I went to YouTube and I um looked up how to cover dark marks in the face or how to conceal marks on the face and you're gonna forget all about this. So this is the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the orange color. So I found that and um, I put it on and I kind of did my little makeup routine and trust me, it worked for you girl get you some so <laughs> I was like okay back in business now so I was like all right so we got that going I was able to cover it up pretty good some people were able to see it some people didn't notice it like I went around family that didn't know I had the procedure they didn't even bring it up to me they didn't recognize it um so that was good so um that's basically my story, where I've been and, um, you know. So, after this video, we will be back with the YouTube making. So, don't go too far. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this makeup look for you guys. Jump into this hair. And I'm going to give y'all a full review at the end, okay? All right, y'all. Stick around. And if you guys have any questions, um, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. Because I know y'all going to be like, girl, where you been? Like, what's a lot of Poma? Like, this and that. Like, I got y'all. Just hit me up in the comments, okay? All right. Let's jump back into this lipoma story. So, as I was getting the procedure done, 
I was, um, you know, talking with the nurses and the doctors the whole time, you know, especially if I had questions. And um, I was telling him, I was like, you know, how, how does it, you know, does it leave a big scar, you know, stuff like that. So it's like, oh no, it's not gonna scar, you're gonna be fine, you know, and when I did the procedure, the doctor was telling me, oh yeah, it's only, you know, you, you can go back to work the next day. So I was like, okay, no biggie. So after he did um, the procedure and I was able to get like an after photo and like a photo of, you know, what they took out, um, I was like, okay, you know, not too crazy. So they just put like a, just a regular Band-Aid on it. And I was like, okay. So I only took just one day off of work because the previous doctor that did the consultation was like, oh yeah, it's only just gonna take one day. You know, you're not gonna, you don't have to take any leave from work and this and that. Girl, tell me why I was out a whole week. It's like, mm-mm. So, I, I think I had it done on a Monday, right? That was like the earliest they had. So I'm like, okay. So I can go ahead and go back to work Tuesday, you know. And <clears throat> the procedure gets done. Everything is all good, copacetic, whatnot. And girl, your girl got home that next morning. <laughs> I was like, uh, negative. <laughs> I'm not going to work looking like this. So my face was like so swollen, guys. I was like, uh-uh, y'all must be tripping. So I was like, I'm not going to, going to work looking like this. It's like, no, no can do. So I just um, called my supervisor up like, look, you know, I had a procedure. I ain't coming in. So, and with the swelling, I thought it was just going to be like, just for like a day. Like, okay, you know, it'll be down tomorrow. I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> so basically what it did on Monday, like I had no swelling. And then like Tuesday rolled around. I had like a little bit of swelling, couldn't tell. But Wednesday, <laughs> your girl was like, uh-uh, no way. Like I said, I'm going to leave y'all pictures. Y'all going to be like, whoa. <laughs> So I was like, uh, no, I'm not going to work like that. And I didn't. So I took a whole week off. It's like, y'all got me twisty. So, um, yeah, that's what happened in that situation. I did not go to work. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so, um, like I said, guys, I will leave, um, video videos. I will leave, um, photos at the end of the video and um I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with this makeup look but um like I said if you guys have any questions of where I've been and um what's coming up you guys just make sure you leave comments in the comment box below and uh, stick around with you, girl. I'll be back. All right, guys. I couldn't leave you guys hanging too long. I did want to show you guys how I covered this up. This is a concealer. Because of what the scar does, it kind of caves in a little bit, like a little crevice, like a little ditch. So I kind of almost tried to Fill it in a little bit. Go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Oops, I knocked my camera a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is hit some of these other dark marks as well. Just kind of lightly hit it. And on to this area here. So 
So this is how I was able to conceal that. And I just take my sponge, half clean. Kind of push that in there, blend it out a little bit. And what I do is I go back in with that orange concealer one more time in the actual, like I said, it looks like a little crevice in the crevice area. And the tricky part about this is since it's still kind of creased in a little bit, I can't really smudge and, mirror, and smear it like I want to like blend it in. I have to kind of pat it and dab it. So next I'm going to add my, <clears throat> my e.l.f. medium coverage um, flawless satin foundation. So with this e.l.f. Uh, foundation, it is buildable. Um, I've been trying not to like um, glob it on there or like really build it on because then it looks like all cakey. I don't really like that cakey look, but like I said, since I have been covering this up, I've been adding a little more in that area. And um, I just kind of put it on my finger. Cause like I said, I just, I've been adding a little bit more as of lately. Like I said, I've just been wanting to hide that. I kind of just dab it because when I smear it or start to work it in, the um, Pro Concealer underneath, it um, spreads out. It like kind of uncovers it a little bit. I don't know if you guys kind of know what I'm talking about, but um, let me see if I can show you without really showing you. <laughs> I don't know if it'll do it now, but um, it was it was doing it before. Like when I would put it on there, I had to kind of like press it in. I couldn't really rub it or you know smear like I wanted to. So um, we'll just get the rest of the face covered pretty good. And you try and get some here. Don't want to leave out your neck. And I'm going to take that back end of the beauty blender. Did I bring my other brush? I did. Oh. And then I will add those pictures at the end. And if you guys have any type of questions, please let me know. And I will be back with you guys for the final reveal, okay? And like I said, I will put the pictures in at the end of the video. And if you have, guys have questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment box. And I will see you guys in a bit, okay? All right, guys, welcome back. So this is our finished look for today. It's cute, right? So um, I covered, I did, like I said, I did cover it up using the Ella Girl Pro Concealer. Um, you can still kind of see it um, just as far as like the way it dips in. Not necessarily the color, like you can see the color a little bit, but not as prominent as it was in the beginning of the video. Like I said, I will leave pictures at the end of the video. Um, but what I do use for um, to help it heal and get my color back a little faster is um, the Moderma Quick Dry Oil. I will leave this in the link below. I did get this one from CVS, Target, but um, 
You can find this anywhere. Walgreens. Um, I do like Moderma, but I prefer the cream better because for me, I think it works better. Um, the oil, um, it's been working as far as um, healing it pretty good. And um, I think it's going to do really good in the end as far as like once it's healed. But I am looking for a different um, lightning cream or lightning product. If you guys know of any good um, scar cream or fading cream, um, just leave it in the comment box. Let me know. Um, I also was thinking about having my doctor put in um, a Retin-A kind of um, prescription for me just to kind of cover that up because it is... Uh, retin -A does help with um, dark marks. So, yeah, I will leave um, the makeup products I use in this video in the description box below. Um, the hair products that I use for this braid out in the description box below. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, any um, suggestions, uh, let me know. But yes, I do use the Moderma uh, night and day, so before I go to bed and before I head out. But um, also guys, if you guys, um, I know this does work really good, but if you guys know of like a different um, primer that I can use to kind of um, like a filler primer to where it kind of Fill that gap in a little bit. Just kind of leave it in the comment box below and I will check it out. So guys, this is the end of the video. Sorry. But like I said, I will leave pictures at the end. I might even insert some um, in the during the video as well. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But um yeah, I hope this was a good uh, explanation video or explanation video on um, what a lipoma is and um, why I was gone for so long. And hopefully you guys can kind of understand because I didn't want to like just jump on here and show you guys like, oh my God, like what happened to her face? So. I kind of just wanted to let it start healing up before I came back on here to um, talk with you guys. So, like I said before, you're watching Davis Way TV. My name is Shanika. Some call me Shay. Some call me Nika. Either way, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.